good morning today we are discussing about design of axially loaded short column using is456 and sp16 uh, it's the uh, portion of first module and it's also a continuation of uh, dcs1 we already studied the design of uh, column using is456 in uh, fifth semester the only difference is that we are we also designing the same column using sp16 sp16 means special publication sp means special publication sp16 is a uh, special publication of is456 you know is456 is the code for plane and reinforced to bonding this shows some uh, clauses in is456 2000 for the design of axially loaded short column uh, from it it is clear that where that uh, pu the ultimate load pu is equal to 0.4 fck ac plus 0.67 fy asc and also uh, uh, the details about transverse reinforcement and arrangement of transverse reinforcement pitch and diameter of lateral tiles Uh, based on uh, slenderness ratio, column classified into two. That is long column and short column. For short column, L by D ratio is less than twelve. Mm-hmm. Based on uh, L by D ratio, that is slenderness ratio. L by D ratio uh, for long column, L by D ratio is greater than twelve, and short column, L by D ratio is less than twelve. Here we define the short column. That is the column having slenderness ratio less than twelve. Uh, question: What is the problem? A rectangular reinforced boundary column of cross-sectional dimension 300 by 600 mm is to be designed to support on axis a load of 2000 kN. Design suitable reinforcement column reinforcement in column using M20 concrete and the three four fifteen strip. First, we have to write the all the given data. Uh, all the given data. It is it is clear that it is a rectangular column. Diam it is dimension three hundred by six hundred mm, and ultimate load P U is given as two thousand kilonewton. If it is a factored load, then we have to find the ultimate load by multiplying it with one point five. We already know about this. So here. Uh, it is PU. PU is equal to two thousand kilonewton. So it is uh, written as two thousand into ten times to three newton. Uh, yeah. In question, it is given that uh, we design it for M twenty concrete and FE four fifteen steel. So uh, so if C K is equal to twenty newton per mm square and F Y is equal to four fifteen newton per mm square, then A G A G is the gross area of column. Gross area of column is three hundred into six hundred mm. According to IS four fifty six two thousand gross area already know that gross area of column is the uh, area of steel plus area of concrete. So it is written as AG is equal to ASC plus AS AC. ASC is the area of steel and AC is the area of concrete. From this equation, we write it as AC. AC is equal to AG minus A G minus A S C. So, from the above equation, P U is equal to point four F C K A C plus point six seven F I A S C. We uh, we substitute the all the given data in the equation. So, this uh, return us two thousand into W S C T is equal to point four into F C K twenty. A S C is written written write as A G minus A S C plus F. 0.67 into F, F by is 450 into A. So from this equation, we have to find we we have to find uh, A. And A C is given as uh, A C A C C A C is the above equation A C is equal to 2073.69 mm square. So by uh, the uh, so we also find out the find the A G. Uh, AC right that is area of concrete uh, area of concrete is equal to AG minus AC AC is 
Percy is still 2073 and 69, 169 and 64. Uh, so we uh, got the value of area of steel, that is AST value, uh, as per IS for 56,000. The minimum area of steel for a column is 0.8% per of cross section area. So we have to check the minimum cross minimum area of steel with the key, with the uh, value we got. That is uh, minimum area of steel 0.8 percentage of cross section area that is 0.8 by 100 into 300 into 600. We got it as uh, 1440 mm square. We get it as uh, 2073. So it is safe. So we can use the uh, area of steel value as 2073.69 mm square now then we assume a uh, suitable diameter we assume here 20 mm diameter bar so by using the ASC value and uh, di diameter value we assume find the number of bars number of bars is equal to ASC by F5 that is total area of steel divided by area of one bar uh, we get it as uh, 6.60 that is, uh, no, uh, is equal to 7 we will be uh, always provide a, a even number so uh, we take it as 8 bars so provide 8 numbers of 20 mm diameter bars uh, as longitudinal reinforcement we already know that column has two type of reinforcement longitudinal reinforcement and lateral ties uh, then next is the design of lateral ties. Lateral ties from the uh, clause, we can, it is clear that lateral ties, the spacing of lat transfer, lateral ties is also transverse reinforcement. Also, uh, say it as transverse reinforcement. Tra uh, for the transverse reinforcement, so many clauses are, are in IS-456. It is clear that diameter of the uh, transverse reinforcement uh, should be should not shall not be less than one fourth of the diameter of largest longitudinal bar. That is, uh, largest longitudinal bar is 20 mm square. That is, in no case, our the, uh, the rain, diameter value of transverse reinforcement should not less than 20 by 4. 20 by 4 is 5 mm. So we can assume 6 mm diameter bar. One more close and no case less than 60 mm that is uh, the diameter that is the uh, lateral ties should be between uh, diameter by longitudinal diameter by 4 to 16 mm so we assume 6 mm diameter bar so uh, then spacing spacing of uh, transverse reinforcement is uh, given as pitch and pitch is the uh, pitch is taken from the three values the first one is uh, which is the la least lateral dimension of the compression member or 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal bar or 300 mm which ever is less we have we are taking uh, the uh, least value from the these three uh, clauses that is la least lateral dimension is 300 mm 16 into 5 that is 320 mm and 300 mm so we take uh, uh, 300 mm 70% space uh, so we complete the design that is uh, the core design of column is uh, only uh, for finding the uh, uh, lateral reinforcement and longitudinal reinforcement the next is detailing Detailing is uh, 